So welcome back beekeepers and future beekeepers. We've been asked to assist in removal and relocating a colony of bees that's located next to a walking trail. Enjoy. We're in a cavity in a old pine tree. So we decided to use the endoscope to see what we're dealing with and see whether we have comb or what's actually in there. And as you can see, there is comb and bees. Okay. Anything it might be like limited always, the right time. I can always fire up my vacuum and if we get, they get too nasty on us. Start sucking the numbers down some. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get a box. get some of their comb, and then they might settle down once we put them in there. That would help you kind of whittle it loose up in there. Oh, come on, guys! Oh, it's up there pretty good ways. Yeah, we might have to do like an opening it up right here. With the chainsaw. Good, eh? This might tell us how far. Okay. Yeah. No brood on it. No brood. Yeah, let me see how far it goes. Probably up in to there for now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to cut a face off this tree in a moment and start taking the cone out. the noise of that chainsaw. They kind of get them riled up. Well, you know, really, they're not terrible. No. Doing that right there. No, it seems pretty, pretty tame. Here's that pie bar. Okay. I go through gloves like you wouldn't. It might be attached to it. Yeah, we got some comb connected on the inside of it. Okay. We can lay this down. And cells in there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still going higher up. It's any good. No. We can go ahead and get the frame. Dad is just making feel at home. Here's the next one. I'm really wondering how much further it goes. Mm -hmm. While Ray is uh, taking care of the comb, I'm trying to find out how far this thing goes. Still going. Probably have to go at least up to here now. Okay. But we still haven't found the end of it yet. I think it's still going up because I see bees coming out of my top 
cut. Oh. Yeah, because there's no brood or anything. Must all be towards the top. Look at them coming out of the top. Uh -huh. yeah, we're close. Oh yeah, so it's maybe 25 feet. And yeah. Yeah, I mean I can cut it right there at the bottom and just let the whole thing go down. Yeah, and then we'll clear a path into it. Are there bees coming out of the top? No. Oh. Not that I can see. The stubborn tree. You? No. No, I'm stuck on the other side. Do you think we want to vacuum up some of the bees? Yeah. We can. So here's the cavity we're working with, and we don't know how far it goes up. We're going to try to vacuum them in a moment. And then we're going to bring it the rest of the way down. it down what six feet at a time and we'll work it. <laughs> <laughs> doubtful that there's a queen at all. Yeah, there might not. Maybe that's why they were making the queen cells there, because there's a couple yeah. of them capped on. I think that's it as far as comb goes. It's like it looks like just ants up in here. Yep. Just termites. Yeah. Find the top of it yet? Yeah. yeah. Some hive beetles. I think the queen is over here. The way they're drooping up. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to vacuum that up and hopefully get the queen. Yeah, I think she's in here. You want to come back around here and see if you can see her? I didn't find any comb down that way. Mm. It was all kind of filled in with yeah. all the Debris. rot. If she was under here, I think there'd be a bunch of them right there. Termites. Termites. It was very suspicious that there was no brood in anything. Yeah, right. I'm that's wondering true. if they were queenless. I had a couple queen cells. Right, yeah, so maybe they were in the process of making a new one. That could be. Or they have a virgin queen. Okay, if I see a big spider in there. Probably just vacuum that up and okay. yeah. put them in the box. Go drone there. Yeah. Alright. I didn't realize I, I don't have a glove on that part <laughs> of my finger. Yeah. Was there yeah. any more left in there? No. No? Yeah, there's no secret hiding place for there. 
I just seen something right underneath here. But they're getting crazy right here, and they're getting crazy right there. Gloves on, That's okay. The vacuum them up. We don't see the queen. They seem to be clustering up here and here. The hive over here, or the cavity, is it still has some bees in it, but no big clusters. So either we've got the queen in the vacuum and we'll put her in the box with the comb, or uh, they were queenless. We did see some queen cells. So. There's a big old drone right here. I don't see their butts up in the air or anything either, indicating the queen. You can always let it set for a few and let them settle down yep. and land again. Yep. Just honey. Like a big puzzle. We probably have some foragers coming back there. Yeah. yeah. Foragers coming back. We're going to vacuum the rest of them up. And we'll take them back and Hopefully revitalize this a little bit. There wasn't a whole lot of comb for such a big cavity either. I mean, barely one, two, three, four, five, barely six frames. And it's put through there sparsely. So, but all in all, these are some very calm bees. That's a big old drone. Yeah, we're going to try to get them a new home. So we have a queen excluder on the front. The bees that escaped after I dumped them in are trying to get in. And they're just hanging out on the outside also. But in case the, there is a queen, And she's going to get acclimated in the box for a while. So, thanks for watching this video. And please hit subscribe, like, and the bell for future notifications. Have a great day.